Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazayas here from The Automator, and today this is a cool little idea that it occurred to me quite a while ago, and then I, I said we should do this, and we never did, and then um, we finally did it on one, and now I've, I'm having us add it to all of our scripts because it's so handy. You've probably, like me, been working on a script, and yeah, you could right-click in the system tray and say edit a given script, like that's built into AutoHotKey, but what if you just want to get to the folder? Right. Yeah. And that's what how easy it is. And we're going to show you a couple examples here where it's not just that we added um, a little more. So as I want you show demo at first. Right. So here is one of our scripts that, can, that has that now. So I've recently modified files and uh, you use this every week, I guess. And now down here, when we look up the icon for it. So this is which we should change the icon, by the way. But oh, it, this it, one here. It, it, um, you can see on the menu now, there are two new items. Probably you didn't know that they were there, but you can see that they're new because they have kind of like shiny icons. And one of them is to open the folder, which basically just, as the name implies, opens the folder of the script. And the other one, if we share these with other people, they could look at an intro video in which we explain what the tool does. And hey, um, it is one of our YouTube videos. So, but basically we just point to that video on those two little menu items. So really great and very easy to set up for any script actually. Right. right. Yeah, I think so that's, the, that's the part that you were kind of like, oh my God, why, why haven't we done this first uh, uh, already? I mean, so here is the part of the code that contains the tray menu. So on V2, remember menus are objects. So this, at this point, we're grabbing a copy of the menu object. And from there, we're deleting and adding stuff. The ones that we care about are these ones that are marked in green because those were changes that we made recently. And for each of them, there were two actions. One of them is creating the action, which is the open folder. And as the action is just simply running the script directory, we just created a fat arrow function that just does that action. That's it. And that way we create the menu and perform the action in one line. So right there, right below it, for the same tray, we set the icon for that same thing. Remember that whenever you're setting the icon, the name of the menu item must be exactly the same. So if you have an ampersand here like that, you have to put it both like that, exactly the same. So whatever you have above, you have to put it below. And in this point, um, we pointed to a shell DLL file and we picked the fourth icon for it, which happens to be the folder icon, right? At least in Windows 11, it still is. Hopefully they don't change. So, <laughs> so by the way, actually Windows 10, we checked. I had uh, Rizwan check and for Windows 10, it's still the same. So I was right. like, use that one. Awesome, now, yeah, like, at least for the last two. The resource finder, because this made me laugh, I had forgotten that we had this functionality built into it. So the resource right. finder, if you're saying like, well, what icon do I want to use? But it's more because you did some magic in here in the resource finder, R-E-S, yeah. So this one is a really cool tool because you can search, right? It's the only tool we're, we're aware of that you can search and find what you're looking for by text. Looking for folders. So I just put the word folder. But what's really and cool about, yeah, is you have the, that'll add the icon to your system tray to represent, but wait, there's more. That was the magic I had forgotten we added, but Irfan thankfully remembered. And he's like, oh, we have this for adding it. We were doing it with the list um, list view, the example he had, but it just, it reminded me of like the, this, it'll write the code for you. Right. And that's the biggest part. Like for the menu set icon, I can select it and select V2, copy that, and it grabbed the icon that I had selected down here, which is that one, the 14th, and it copied onto my clipboard the my menu set icon with the menu item name and so on. So you have to change those to whatever is your code. So the tray would be this, sorry. Then the item name is the one that I'm working with, and in some cases, I can set an icon within there, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to keep this. So it's really easy for us to very quickly grab the actual correct code for it. 
And remember, if it is a DLL that is in system 32 like this, you probably don't even need to have the full path. You just put the name of the, the thing and it works just fine. So really great little tool for finding out. And, and I guess you did the same for video. So you probably searched right. here for video right? and you got this icon and said, hey, that's the one that I want. Copy the selected icon for the menu and just pasted it in. And basically this one does the same. It, it uses the run command. But remember, the run command, if you give it a file, it opens the file. If you give it just a folder path, it opens the folder. But if you give it a URL, like a video to a YouTube video, a link to a YouTube video, what it does is, is that it opens your default browse, browser with that URL in it. So basically, effectively, with the, with the same run command, we just gave it the folder and a video URL. And now all of our scripts um, can have these options of you right click on them and then you have the open folder or the intro folder there, which is the same to the AI audio transcribe, which has the open folder here and then the intro video down here. We can You can put it wherever you want. We, in this case, we put them together, but in this one, we did it a different way. And it's very simple code that you can add right now to all of your scripts. And, and while we're on the topic, if you want to pull up either of those tools, you'll notice also we, we and, and our triggers class does this automatically, but in the system tray uh, show, we're displaying the hotkey. If there is a hotkey, we have it displayed there. So if people forget the hotkey, they can come in here and look that says alt click right. to open the folder. Cause I had to, that's, this is why I'm like, I can't remember what the hotkey is. I need it in this, in this cheat sheet. Right. That's for sure. So, and then we have been implementing that in a lot of our tools that when you right click, it shows you what the hotkey is for some of the actions in case you forgot about them. Right. So we, we not only want to make our lives easier is also that when I give that tool to somebody, I know that they're not going to know all the hotkeys that I set up right away, right? So if you learned something here, please like the video. It really helps us out. And uh, I'll put those URLs for those uh, various tools we discussed. Um, not that you need them, but you can just do that code yourself or you can cheat and get some of these things from us that help it. But it's awesome. Have a great day. Bye.